and uh, meanwhile uh, in this uh, in this today's presentation we will be covering uh, what is h1b what are the requirements of uh, filing h1b how are the uh, how is h1b better than other visa statuses the timelines for filing h1b in the cap 2025 this year and then <clears throat> how is the lottery procedure that has changed from uscis uh, and uh, who may get benefited out of it and the details those are required from you people in order to proceed with h1b filing or h1b lottery proce uh, process So first thing, uh, H-1B is a work visa that uh, that we call it in general. It is a non-immigrant visa. It allows any uh, any U.S. employer, that is Guru Schools in this case, to hire a foreign worker, probably while you are from India, Canada, U.S. or any other uh, or any other country. We uh, we can sponsor H-1B for you, and the H-1B work visa. Uh, or a work permit would allow you to work in US and it allows your spouse to enter USA and stay here legally. Whereas there is also a path of your spouse getting a work authorization once you have, uh, once you are in the process of green card. So the uh, basic requirement for filing H-1B or in order to uh, make you eligible for H-1B would be minimum of a bachelor degree. Uh, but the bachelor degree should be in the same field or the related field for which you're uh, applying a job. Or the US master's degrees, uh, it should also be in the same field. Your name should be picked up in the lottery process while we are entering into the uh, while we are entering into the lottery. Uh, the basic requirement for proceeding with the H uh, H1B filing is you should have a US uh, US offer letter from the employer. In this case, the Guru School uh, is going to help you out with providing with a job offer. Uh, initially in case uh, if you don't have any other project and uh, guru schools has uh, their internal projects so we are uh, we strive hard to make sure that you uh, to make you eligible for uh, for the h1b lottery this year and so first thing with H-1B, you can also proceed with uh, to the path of citizenship by applying for green card. Guru Schools has a policy wherein uh, right after six months of you being on our payroll, we can sponsor green card for you. And how is it beneficial than a uh, student visa or H-4 uh, or some other visa is? You don't have to... Uh, be dependent on any other uh, any other thing you can uh, just work based upon your h1b visa uh, you don't have to uh, go through the hassles of tuition fees or any other education you can work in us as uh, for the employer who sponsored your h1b as long as the visa is valid <clears throat> as i already covered that your spouse or your children uh, can uh, also live in uh, live in us on, on this uh, visa, on the dependent visa H4. So this is the uh, most crucial or important point. This year, the registration period, we will be entering your uh, details in the uh, USCIS uh, portal from 6th of March to 22nd of March. And the registration date, uh, the registration selections will be made by or before 31st of March. The USCIS is going to send us selection notices of the candidates who, who are selected. And the H-1B filing, once your name is selected in the lottery process by USCIS, then we can proceed with H-1B filings for you from April 1st to June 30th, 2024. And your H-1B application should be approved before October 1st. 2024 by which you can start working from october 1st 
Now, uh, there will be uh, several uh, steps involved based upon the case to case. In case if you are in US and if you want to proceed with change of status, then it would be effective from October 1st. But if you're not in USA, if you are in uh, outside USA, then in that case, you might have to go for H1B stamping in, in the consulate. And once the stamping is done, once you enter US, then the uh, then your date would start. Your H1B sta uh, would start then. <clears throat> so how the lottery works is uh, the USCIS ap uh, accepts applications for the registration and it has a specific quota of 65,000 as a regular quota and 20,000 lottery selections will be made only based upon people who have US master's degree. So people who are having US master's degree have more chances of getting picked up in the lottery process when compared to people who have a master's degree from other countries, not from US. We need uh, basic details like uh, full name of <clears throat> full name of yours, your date of birth, passport number, most recent degree uh, degree details. For this, we at Guru Schools want you to provide us with a copy of passport and the most recent degree that you have. Now. The things that have changed from last year to this year would be last year, uh, the H-1Bs were being picked up from multiple employers. From this year, the lotteries will be picked based upon the passport number and <clears throat> you can proceed with, once your passport number is picked up, all the registrations those were made again uh, for your name for, against your passport number. They will be informed. So basically, Guru Schools will get to know if your name is picked up in the lottery. And once it is picked up in the lottery, we can proceed with it. Previously, uh, this case, previously it used to get picked up from two or three employers. This year, we are expecting it to be picked up by one employer. And the USCIS has further clarified that once your name is picked up in the lottery, you can proceed with any employer wherever you file from. If you file from employer A, B or C, you can choose your employer out of A, B or C. And Guru Schools will uh, be proceeding with online filings that has been introduced just this year. And uh, starting from 28th of February, Guru Schools will be looking forward uh, uh, from 8th of, uh, from 28th of February, Guru Schools will be looking forward for all the applications to be sent online. Previously, all the applications, H all the H1B petitions or H1B applications were sent through mails, which uh, used to cause a lot of delays uh, in posters and all these things. Now it is just a matter of a click. Just uh, we have to make sure that uh, the documents those are provided by you are adequate in order to proceed with the filing. And uh, the USCIS has uh, retained the registration fees of 10 years this year. Starting from next year, the registration fees is going to be dollar $215, $215. Now, this is the good opportunity for all of you to proceed with H-1B registration because from next year, Employers might be hesitant to proceed with registrations because of the increase in the cost of filings. Now I will leave the floor for the, for your questions. Uh, you can raise your hands uh, in uh, in the meeting, and uh, we will just take your uh, take your questions according to it.
excellence can make in your IT journey.